us gather together for worship. The call to worship is printed in your bulletin at Psalm 123. A song of a sense. To you I lift up my eyes. As the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master. So our eyes look to the Lord, but the Lord our God. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us. Our soul has had more than its fill. Too much 
share in them, and then there's a whole different problem. So in today's reading, we're going to read from the book of Judges, where we're going to hear about one of the major judges who helped to govern Israel in that time between the time they entered the promised land and the time that they got a king. Her name was Deborah, and she administered justice. She was a prophet of God, and she was a military leader. And the Bible says, and we'll read this later, that she was the wife of Lapidoth, which might indeed be the case. That might be her husband's name. But another way to translate that is woman of fire. Woman of, I know, whoa. I figure if you can administer justice, be a leader, be a political leader and a military leader, you're a pretty spicy person. I figure you, you know, woman of fire is probably correct as well. She is going to ask the community to stand up after 20 years of oppression and take on the people that are holding them back and holding them down. And that's an enormous risk, and yet they follow her and they say, all right, we'll go. And they win, and they get free. Her story helps us remember that we need to get opinions from all kinds of places when we're trying to solve a tough problem. So let us pray. This is where I say, say it back to me. Love you, God. Love you. Thanks for the people you've given me. To help some tough, solve some tough problems. Help me to remember to ask for help. Especially when I think there's no point in asking. Amen. <laughs>